Hey, what's going on everybody? So, today we're going to go over colors. We're going to discuss hexadecimal colors to be exact. Now, you could use RGB colors as a web designer, but most creators use hexadecimal colors. This allows you to have a lot more control over what you are trying to do. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so I found this cool nifty tool on CodePen. That's codepen.io. If you guys don't know what CodePen is, I urge you to go out there and check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff on there that you can find. Now, Rob DeMarzo created this, so I can't take all the credit for it, but it's really nifty tool in order for you to determine what colors that you are going to be using as you are creating digital designs. Now, what it does is that it shows you exactly what the hex code is depending on what color that you're currently sitting on. Well, right now I'm on black, so it's going to be all zeros because black is just all the colors put together. But as I scroll this over and approach white, now you can start to see the numbers changing. And now we have almost pure white. That's pretty cool, huh? With hex colors, you have to understand that it is kind of backwards because white is pretty much the absence of colors and black is all the colors put together. But as you can see, when we were down here at black, we had all zeros. Think of that as 0%, meaning 0%, no color added. Now, as we approach white, we now have the value for red, the value for green, and the value for blue uh, at 100%. Okay, so thinking of RGB colors, we have our red, we have our green, we have our blue. Now, what it is, we have 100% red. 100% green and 100% blue, or nearly 100% blue. What I can do here is change the values by approaching more red. So as you can see, I have 100% red, 0% green, and now 0% blue. This gives us pure red. If I do the same, come over here, and let's say I wanted pure blue, I get 100% blue, but red and green are now at 0%. And likewise, I can do the same for our green value. Hashtag 00FF zero 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 gives us now 0% in red, 100% in green, 0% in the blue. Now, what's really cool about this tool is that I can kindly just scroll over and see how much blue I'm actually adding to my green. See, when you're dealing with colors, you actually have to take three primary hue colors, which are red, green, and blue, and just combine them together. What you're doing is you're just taking droplets of blue, adding it to your green to produce a new color. For example, teal or aquamarine. Now, if I want to go the other way, I could just remove some of the blue and start adding in red. Red and green now mix yellow. And if I want to keep going, I can just remove some green which gives us let's say I'm about halfway between green uh, let's say 50 percent well if you had 50 percent green and 100 percent red you now get orange and if you remove all of the green again you get down to pure red now from here I can actually just go towards the middle of the color wheel now doing that adds in both green and blue simultaneously and the more green and blue I add to my 100% red, I get closer to white. And if I wanted purple, I can just add in mostly red and blue and not as much green. And more purple that I want, just remove some green from it. Now, one thing you have to remember is that the value can also change as much as the hue changes. You can also change the saturation and opacity, but in this video, we're not gonna cover that. We're just gonna cover hue to keep it simple and then a little bit of the value to show you that as you change the value of the actual color itself, you can approach black pretty quickly. Now, if you did want a darker color, like a darker green or something like that, you can still have that same value for your green, let's say 100% green with 0% blue and 0% and 0% red, 
Now, instead of 100% green, you now have only about 25% green. And if I bring it more closer to the white side, you have probably about 75 to 80% green now. All right, so I hope this helped everybody. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I definitely want to help you guys out. If you want the link for this actual code pen, I'll leave it in the description below. If you do want to follow me on all my social media handles, they're below as well. And as always, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you all next time.